Okay, so there's one more of these little UV layouts I gotta do. Uh, this one. Okay, so I went and I projected onto it. And uh, let's just uh, go ahead and get rid of this. We'll figure out where I want the seams. I'll hit five, so we're only looking at the shade of view. Edge, like that, cut it. And I'm just gonna move this off, yay. Right now everything's smooth too, so I'm just gonna hit uh, one, there we go. And you can lay out if you, as you go if you want to. Um, and I just remembered I was gonna try to do a little trick here, because I felt like I wanted to have this kind of push in a bit more. Um, here, we'll just go in here, I'll cut some UVs. Oop, here. Okay, there's another one. Unfold. Okay, and I wanted this deeper, so I'm just gonna do a trick. I'm gonna grab a vertice, double click. And... So, this is a quick selection trick that I'm doing. I'm just going from here to here and it grabs all the vertices in between. And then after I get that, if I do a control right click uh, to faces to faces, I'm just gonna grow the selection. And so now we're here and then I'm gonna go, I wanna make it a bit deeper. So I'm just gonna use transform and transform, let's just find the blue here, the blue arrow and I'll push that in. Now I think that's going to look better. I'm just going to hit uh, extrude and push it in just a bit. When I do the extrude, that gives me an extra edge in here. Okay, now we're in object mode. Great. Um, and so, actually, while I've got those selected, um, then what I can do is I can uh, go in and I'm going to grow my selection. So if I'm in here doing faces, right click, grow selection, grow. And I'll just hit G and grow it again, grow it again, and I'll grow it one more time. There. And then to cut these all off at once, I'm just going to go in here to uh, EVs and hit camera base. And there, I've got them separated. Okay. Um, <clears throat> then I've got to decide how do I want to tackle these pieces here? How do I want them to unfold? Um, I'm going to try something like this. See how this looks. And I'll hit cut, unfold. Eh. And if I hit uh, six, I can kind of see they unfolded relatively well. Um, and I eh, should be okay with that. Um, the other thing I could do right here is if I really thought about it, you know. Um, I could say to myself, well, you know, unfolding all these one by one and then trying to line them up is just going to be a big, big pain in the ass. Um, so what I could do instead, um, and this is if I'm getting picky, uh, is I could go in here. Let's grab this edge. I'm going to have five so you can see what I'm looking at. So over here it goes all the way to the bottom. Okay. Um, actually, how do I want to do this one? So those edges there. If I go in here and I grab these faces, this one, delete. I just started thinking this would be much faster if I did it like this. So, you know what? I only have to lay out the UVs for this piece here, so I don't have to do any of my fancy tricks. Uh, I should have done that right from the get-go. But, um, didn't think about it till I got right here. There. I said to myself, this is going to take way too long. So let's do something like that. And then if I grab these and I hit unfold, 
Yay! And let's hit six so we can see if there's anything funny going on. Looks like everything's pretty good. Um, and then this piece here, does that unfold any better? It's not what I meant to hit. Unfold. Sometimes, here's a little trick. I'm going to close this down. I'm going to open it up again. When I do, my little UV toolkit menu comes back. I typically don't like this thing. Um, but down here in the unfold, sometimes this unfold tool works really, really well. Um, so if I got these selected, if I go over top of them, I'm just going to hold down B. And sometimes it'll unfold it a little bit differently if you when you paint over it. Okay. And nee, looks a little bit warped right there. Um, yeah, maybe I'm okay. Okay, and uh, let's oh, close it down again. And then this comes up, get rid of that. And um, let's just take the everything and we're gonna get it in the zero to one. Bloop. Okay, uh, some of these pieces here like this, and this don't need to be quite that big. Um, no one's ever going to see them. Okay. And then <clears throat> what I'm going to do, because now we got lots of texture space on here. Um, is I just take this piece and uh, where's my pivot point? My pivot point, center pivot. And um, this pivot here, uh, there's a lot of history on this thing. I'll just quickly rebind it to my joint later on. I'm just going to take the pivot point and park it right there. And if I make a duplicate and I hold down J, shifty, shifty. Oh, you bastard. Oh. Did I say keyframes on here? No, okay. That's weird. I hit a wrong hotkey. Um, but now they're all right on top of each other. And if I grab everything and I hit mesh combine, and then I hit edit mesh and I use merge, and I make sure I have a really small threshold, bloop, now they're one object. And all their UVs are directly on top of each other. Um, if I want them to be different, then I gotta do some more thinking, but I think I'm happy with that. Um, if I really did think about it and I wanted to change something here, I can grab all these edges here and hit move and sew there. Grab all these UVs and I'll maybe I'll hit it with a merge. Um, no one is going to see what's going on here. Same thing with this one. Uh, go in here and grab all these edges, hit move and sew, make, make me into a nice little spiral. And <clears throat> I'm just going to hit merge. There. And so that should be good. Um, and I'm going to delete the history again. And what are we at? Eight minutes. Okay. So, um, I think from here, I should probably just go ahead and do a little, oh, did I delete something? No, this period, oh no, I wasn't paying attention. And these two parts right here, they don't have the same geometry. God damn it. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, just for fun. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's uh, save what I'm doing. File, save scene as, and what are we on? Version 22. Okay, continue. And um, so I screwed up a couple parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip back into a previous scene where I know it's good. Um, I do believe 20 is good. I'll hit continue. So I saved everything except for these two parts right here. So I'm going to grab this one and this one. I'm just going to copy those. I'm going to hit control C. Then I'm going to go back to the previous file. So I'll go back to 22. Do not save. Continue. And then I'm going to hit control V. Continue. And they will pop in. Looks like they brought everything with them. So let's go in here and I'm going to go into the hypergraph. Ah, this thing again. Something funny with my hotkeys. Um, let's just go ahead and isolate them. So this piece and this piece. I'm just going to delete the history. I can take all the rest of this stuff and get rid of it. Oh, of course. Um, take all this stuff here, get rid of it. Oh. 
Oh, and that's that piece over there. Okay, good. And so we got this piece and this piece. Let's get rid of that. Okay, and then everything comes in with this pasted thing on it, and I hate that, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to quickly get rid of that because that really, really bugs me for some strange reason. Um, now, uh, I've got these pieces in here, um, so I'm going to have to do some more UVs, uh, but just for this little section down here, because what I can do um, is if I take these two parts, so what do we got? Let's just go and select just the two together. They're on the exact same space right now. And if I go to the UV editor, boop. Okay. Um, so this one's got UVs, the other one does not. No UVs at all. It's kind of like this. So what I can do is I can grab the other one. If I hold down shift and I select this one, I can go up to mesh transfer attributes and when I'm in here I'm going to go to world they're exactly on top of each other so if I hit transfer they'll be almost identical so if I select this one by itself now this came in really close there's something about these pieces here that are not going to work so I'm going to take this one actually let's just take both of them delete the history I'm going to get rid of this one and then I'll try and figure out what's wrong here and <clears throat> this almost worked um, Let's hit one and I suspect if I turn on my symmetry and I go here to world Z actually I probably won't do it this way what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all the faces here and I'm gonna grow my selection up to there and that should be good and then I'll go ahead and I'm gonna uh, cut them. Actually, I don't want to cut them. I'm just going to go in here and take these and UV camera based. Take this, move it up here and figure out how this needs to be cut up. Um, if I come in here and I grab this edge, let's hit five so I can see what the hell I'm doing here. I'll cut that and I'll cut my way up on the inside here. Hmm. There we go, cut. And I think that should work out really, really well. And I'll just hit um, unfold. Let's just check it out. How did this work out? Um, I got symmetry on right now, so of course they're not going to unfold really, really nicely. Uh, looks like that inside circle needs to be uh, cut someplace. So I'm just going to go here to say here, cut it. <coughs> okay, let's turn off the symmetry now. And let's see what this looks like when I take a look at some of these pieces. Eh, that one's okay. And what if I take these ones and I hit unfold? There we go. So looks like they're unfolding relatively well. Um, and I'm going to try to manually put these into place, I think, because that way um, I can use some of the patchwork that I do from the other piece uh, down here. So I can kind of make them the same but different. Um, and so I got to do the same thing over here. Uh, this is the good piece. It's got the UVs laid out, and this one does not. So if I select this one first, hold down shift, select this one, I go to mesh, I do the transfer attributes again, that works out. I'm going to delete the history, I'm just going to take this thing, get rid of it, and then um, I just got to figure out what's what's going on that's bad here. It's these pieces right here, I think all the rest of them are going to be fairly good. Anything happen over here that looks funny? Nope. Okay. And again, you could just put on the stress and see, oh, lots of stress here, red stress all over the place. Actually, what if I hit one? Uh, that's strange. Why is that so stressed out on the inside here? Might be these things here. So uh, I'm gonna put on the symmetry again. 
and there, grow selection, grow. I'm just quickly just deselecting just because it's going to be faster, maybe. There. <clears throat> okay, great. And I'm just going to hit it with camera based. And let's move this over here someplace. I'm talking about 15 minute mark. I didn't intend for these videos to go this long with UVs. Um, here. And. Mm hmm. Cut. Let's see what happens when I hit unfold. And boop. Did I get them all? What's this thing? Those pieces. These things. Those rings are fine. Um, this needs to unfold a bit better, so I suspect I grab this edge, this edge, this edge, and I cut it. Um, how's that going to do it this time? Boop. There. Okay, and I'll, like I said, I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna stop the video here and I'm just gonna rearrange these um, so they fit nicely before I do the next last video of uh, this before I, I think it's the last one. Just my last little bit of UV organization, UDEM setup. Okay, and I'm gonna stop this here.